Hey everyone, Craig here. In this video, we're gonna cover how to provide shade for your greenhouse in those warmer summer months when the sun is high in the sky and beaming down onto your greenhouse because we don't want your greenhouse to overheat and your plants to get scorched in the, that direct bright summer sun. Now there are so many different ways that you can add shade to your greenhouse. Most greenhouse manufacturers will have a specialist system that fits perfectly onto their greenhouses. And my greenhouse has these wonderful blinds that you can buy that fit across the top ridge and you just pull them down as and when you need them. But they're out of my budget and because the weather has suddenly decided that it's summer, so the sun has come out and the temperature has just rocketed up, I needed a quick cheap way to add shade to my greenhouse to bring down that internal temperature. So I opted for a roll of shade netting. Now shade netting is great stuff um, and if you buy it on a roll you can cut it to the sizes you need. Shade netting comes in different grades so you can get 80%, 50%, 30% and they all relate to how much light um, it's still allowing into the greenhouse. Um, I'm not entirely sure what grade mine was, um, but I've hung it and I'm happy with the effect it's having. It's keeping the temperature down. If it wasn't strong enough, I was just gonna double it up. And that's another option that all of you can try. Now, the way you're gonna fit the shade netting to your greenhouse is entirely dependent on what sort of greenhouse you have. Mine's an aluminium greenhouse. So I've used a combination of um, using the neat little holes that are in the alley plugs that I've used to secure the bubble wrap um, to the inside of the greenhouse and tucking my shade netting down behind the frame because there's a, a neat little gap just between the glass panels um, and the aluminium framing of the greenhouse. But if you've got a wooden greenhouse, it's really common for people to use drawing pins or a staple gun just to fix the shade netting to the frame of your greenhouse um, and you can keep it nice and tight and neat. Now, I've tried not to be too particular with this. Like I say, I wanted it to be fast. I wanted it to be cheap. Um, and as long as it's not too messy, I'm happy. And I just needed it to be effective. The key thing with shade netting is to bring down the temperature and bring down the amount of light that is just shining directly onto all your young and tender plants. So how did I put my shade netting up? I wanted it fast and I wanted it cheap. So, I cut my pieces from a roll. I cut four pieces that were uh, wide enough to go from one side of the greenhouse up into the um, middle ridge and then down into the other side. That way, all I had to do was hang my four pieces up along the middle ridge and then tuck each side down into the eaves. And that meant that I only had to hang four pieces. If I had cut individual pieces for every panel on the greenhouse, it would have been a headache, um, especially for winter when I need to take it down because now I've only got four pieces to take down and neatly fold. Now, you might be thinking, why the hell has he kept the bubble wrap up if he's now putting shade netting up? Does he want this greenhouse to be warm or does he want it to be cold? The answer is, it's an experiment. Bubble wrap, surely, is just like double glazing. And we don't take the double glazing out of our houses in the summer because it helps to keep the house cool. It's an extra barrier of air between the outside temperature and the in. So by providing the shade netting, I'm hoping it's gonna be like a tinted double glazed window. Let's see how it works. If it doesn't, I can obviously take the bubble wrap down. But I've had this shade netting up for a couple of weeks now and it has been so effective. It's early summer here and my greenhouse was already getting up to 45 degrees Celsius, which is way too hot for the plants and definitely way too hot for a gardener to go in and do any work. Um, now the shade netting's been up, that temperature hasn't really gone above 30 degrees, even on a hot sunny day, which is absolutely ideal. Um, my vents automatically open to help keep that internal temperature down. So with the combination of vents, opening the door and shade netting, my greenhouse is maintaining a much more comfortable temperature. And my young seedlings, my young plants, um, and my big plants that were wilting, because I love big leaved plants, 
that were wilting in that heat and that direct sun, they are all doing so much better. So there you go. Now you know how I added shade netting quickly and cheaply to my greenhouse. I hope some of you um, are ready to do it to yours. Honestly, it's made so much difference to the health and happiness of the plants inside my greenhouse. And in the warm summer months, I, as a gardener, am gonna be able to spend a lot more time in there. Now, if you liked this video, be sure to give it a thumbs up. If you haven't checked out any of my other videos, go and have a look. I've got loads of videos about um, growing my patch of paradise and my passion for tropical and exotic plants. And I have an online plant shop. So go and check out growparadise.co.uk. Now, thank you so much for watching and I will see you all in another video. Ciao.